What up, YouTube dudes? Is you guys ready, man? We got Peaky Blinders, season four, episode two. Um, the last episode, man, it ended with one of the brothers getting shot up, man. Uh, and I'm not happy about it. I really hope he doesn't die. Um, but he probably is because he's on another show right now. So I'm thinking he's dead, man. And I think. Let's just check it out. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Let's go. Anyway. No. No. I don't want fucking kids in here. I want soldiers. I don't want fucking kids who joined us for the sport. Get out. Go on. Go. I want men who served in here. Mrs. Gray, please. Oh. Man, get her out of there, man. Responsible. Let him do the job, all right? Let him do the job. I'll get soldiers. I'll be back. I'll be back. Well, if he wasn't too busy drinking and acting crazy, maybe this could have been prevented. <laughs> it's like, you guys, man. You, you guys, man. Oh, John. Okay, John. I play Commander Windsor. We promised, Arthur. Oh, God. And the harm we promised. Can't look at him. Come here, brother. Come here. Come on. Come here. It's the woman's fault, man. <laughs> and you guys, man. You guys should have made him come. Now say it. Say it, brother. Say it, man. In the blake mid winter. In the blake mid winter. So what are you guys gonna do now, though, man? These guys have struck first blood, killed one of your brothers, shot up your nephew, got your nephew half dead. So it's time to hit back. You know what I'm saying? Like all this taking the bath shit. No, it's time to strike back. I want to see some Italians dead. That sounds great. <laughs> I don't mean it like I don't mean it like that. I mean I want to see some mafia guys dead. It don't matter what nationality they are. <laughs> Hell yeah, there goes the boss right there. The Oh, what's up? You must know something's up. Who the hell is this dude? Yeah, look at Charlie. Or uh, Arthur. Arthur didn't even <laughs> Arthur is still still, boy. He ain't scared. Everybody else got down. But Arthur. Arthur was ready. Damn, who's this dude? That dude right there is a G though. <laughs> Took the trouble. I'm getting an invitation to Abraham Gold. Oh fuck. Now it's begun. Why are you hating on this man? 
Put it out in the open on purpose. She's sick, man, right now, and Polly. She has cancer. She's John's in funeral life. fire she as a fucking already, beacon. Though. Rest in peace. We Polly. were never in any danger, Polly. You set a trap. Finn? Finn! Go to the yard and light the fires. You set a trap with us as fucking bait! Man, shut up, Polly. Who's dead? Oh, oh you guys are all bait. Not just him. Not just He's you. dead. I don't know, Paul. Two fucking local Italians heard about the Vendetta, tried to make a fucking name for themselves. That's it. We got word to them about the funeral. The oh, way, so he knew. Win. Okay, that's why he didn't Tell get there. Tell them where to stand for the best shot. And Abraham Gold will do the rest. What is it that you want from me, Mr. Gold? How do you know I want anything from you? Well, is my company treasurer. Is a certified accountant and also apparently a witch. You're a sporting man. Yes, I am. And a gambling man. Barney, take off your shirt. The fuck? Take off your shirt. <laughs> what I want from you, Mr. <laughs> Shepard. You this thing, he likes ladies, man. man. I want you to help my son achieve his ambition. I'm not impressed. Ambition, it doesn't look like nothing to me. The boy knows you can hit back, Rog. Hold them in the professional game, people want their money's worth. Don't win too fast. But if you've seen enough... Finish it, buddy! Fuck me. That was a punch. What's he got, all shoes and house gloves or what? Nope, just his dad's strength and his mother's temper. Your fits? No. How's man? No. How's he cut? Well, no one's cut him yet, but his skin's thick. Does he drink? Porter, sometimes. How many farts? 25, bare knuckle, all knockouts. Five with gloves in pastures, all knockouts. Against Romany fighters. That's why they won't let us in affairs no more. He keeps winning. I could fight a fucking tree and knock it out, Mr. Shaw. <laughs> I like you. Mrs. Like Eden's you. waiting upstairs. I'll ask to be there in a minute. Arthur? A, a delegate from the European Council for Trade. He's here to talk about the import of car parts to France. Right. It's come all the way from Paris. But given the circumstances, I could send him away. Given what circumstances, send him in. Oh, man, who is this? This is like, it sounds suspicious, too. Mr. Shelby? On everything. This is ah, Monsieur it's Paris this dude. From Paris. Yeah, right. That's Adrian Brody, bro. I just seen this dude on the movie I just did. Yeah, called yeah, Clean. On. You should check it out. It's on my channel. Reaction. Great. You just came from Paris. <laughs> Because it's really like trying to like channel uh, the Godfather in his voice, isn't it? No, Paris. <laughs> you're not Paris Tom, a truck. You're not him. They said you were French. Well, I came here from Paris. That does not mean I'm French. Guess where I'm Fuck, from. Fuck, bitch. Well, in my cattle truck in Paris, there were American soldiers who played cards. They 
I sound like you. Yeah. Did you win? He didn't come on a train. He suit is pressed, your shoes are clean. Where'd you get your suits made? I'm a tailor. New York City. Look. Bonacci. Italian. It's my uncle. He makes suits in the basement of Mad Street. He is my uncle. So every stitch stitched with blood. I heard you dress well, Mr. Shelby. But now I see. Not so well as me. We can't. I mean, come on. How you figure that? Because it's looking sharp over there. You really? Yes, you know, I have uncles Me. as well. <laughs> but they're not the sort of men who would, uh, who would work in a basement with a needle and thread. Mr. Changreta. <laughs> yeah. Your uncle sound like a bunch of pussies to me. <laughs> a bunch of tailors. <laughs> I am surprised how easy it was to get into a room with you. No. No. Just shoot him, man. Just shoot him in the face right now. What's I mean? No, there's no. You shoot me three floor. I sent an accomplice into your office and overalls. He found your gun and unloaded it. Ah, oh, are you serious? Then just run over there and beat him up with your fist then, bro. Yeah, You're Tommy okay. Shelby, man. John Shelby. Spent. Made a thorn. And finally. Yeah, right. This is a season five, bro, so you obviously you don't succeed. <laughs> That's on everything. Tommy Shelby, man, you should have walked up and punched him in the face right now, man. We are an organization on a different dimension. Please, ain't no one scared of you. I could have killed you when I walked through the door. But you see... Dude, punch alive. this man. I want you to be alive after your entire family is dead. Because my mother says that is what loved you the most. Your mother's dead too. Next, when I get her. You Wait. people have traditions of honor. Up. That's the way. Instead of sending you a black hand, I could have had you killed in the night. I don't know why. But I want you to know why. And I want to suggest to you that we fight this vendetta with honor. No civilians, no children. No police. Welcome to Birmingham, Mr. Changreta. Grazie. F fuck that. You guys should fight right now. Yeah, On everything, I would. Wow, man. Look, there's no way the mafia is fucking with the Pinky Blinders. Am I right, guys? We're going to watch the next episode in about 
two to three days. So hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Stay safe.